guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. So today I have a Bath and Body Works The Perfect Autumn review to share. I have been really excited about giving you guys my thoughts on this candle because it's such a lovely scent and so many of you have been um, suggesting this one to me or have asked me if I burned it yet and what my thoughts are. So um, I did pick this up a few weeks ago. It took me a little while to get to it because this is definitely a very strong fall fragrance and I kind of figured that I needed to really be in the mood for it. So I busted it out about a week ago and have been burning it and I absolutely love it you guys. I have not purchased any backups of it quite yet but I do see myself grabbing a couple more. I wanted to actually get to the halfway point before doing this review so that I could, you know, ensure obviously that I gave you guys the most accurate information, at least on how mine is performing in terms of burn. Um, I know that there are still some candles here and there that sort of dud out at the halfway point or you've got drowning wicks or something like that. This one is performing incredibly well. Um, the I do have it in the Bath and Body Works. I'm calling this the leaves holder. I don't know what the actual name was for it, but I'm just gonna turn this around real quick here so that I show you guys the label. I feel like the label is very, it's, it's a very pretty picture. Um, so it's a leaf with a little heart cut out of it, it looks like, and then the light from obviously the flames kind of shines through and it looks like there's sunlight coming through the leaf. I just think that's really pretty. Um, don't really care for this part of the label, but it's fine. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because it stays hidden like this. So <laughs> I don't really see much of the label, which is fine. Um, I love this holder, by the way. Uh, fell in love with it and definitely picked up a few more. They are sold out online, but I still see it in stock at my store, so go check out your local stores. You might be able to find one. I think it's not super expensive. It is, I think it's $18.50. It's kind of spendy, but it is a very, very pretty holder. Anyway, let's get back to the perfect autumn. So love this scent, you guys. <laughs> no complaints at all. Um, the fragrance notes read fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, rich clove with essential oils. Um, I really like this one because it reminds me of a couple different things. Um, I do get that same cranberry note that they put in Frosted Cranberry from this. It's different from the Cranberry Woods, which is one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works and um, I need to actually, I think they've finally come out with Cranberry Woods. I need to grab a couple of those this year as well. But this also reminds me of the, what was it called? Like Spiced Cider Pumpkin. Do you guys remember that one? It was from a few years ago. I still have a couple backups of it. I meant to go digging through my candle stash to grab it, but this has a lot of the same types of notes in terms of the, like the fruity spiciness <laughs> to this um, particular scent. They share a lot of the similar notes and that is a that was a really great scent. I was actually surprised they didn't bring that back at any point. I thought a lot of people really liked that one. But so there's a definite very strong cranberry note in this and it's a very sweet, like sugary candied cranberry type note. Um, but it also does have those apple notes for sure. And it's a very sweet, crisp apple scent, almost like a honey crisp. Now it doesn't smell like a honey crisp like candle, don't get me wrong. Really the cranberry stands out in this more than anything else. And then that clove note and to, to me I can also get just a little bit of cinnamon in this as well. There's just that classic like fall spiciness. It smells kind of like a cider drink spiked with like cranberry juice 
if that makes sense, not spiked with. It, there's nothing boozy about this, but it's like mixing really tart, sweet cranberry juice with like an apple cider. It's really nice. <laughs> it's very, it's, it's a great transitional scent, I feel like, but I feel like it's also a great like straight through fall and straight into November and Thanksgiving type of scent. I just think it's one that you could definitely burn for the basically the majority of the fall well into the holiday season even. I wouldn't be surprised if this gets repackaged as something with more of like a holiday theme or name to it <laughs> come November, December. I really think that they are going to they're going to stick with this one. It's just really pleasant. Um, it's, I feel like it's pretty guest friendly. It's a stronger candle. When I have it here in the kitchen, I would say the strength is definitely right around seven, seven and a half. It's pretty strong. Um, and the throw definitely fills the entire downstairs of my house. So I would put that at like a solid seven and a half, eight, actually. It definitely travels and, um, it's a, a space filling candle for sure. So for me, it's definitely two thumbs up. I'm really enjoying it. I think that a lot of other people who enjoy cranberry or apple type scents would really like this. I feel like this would be a great gift candle to give to somebody because I feel like most people really like cranberry. Um, it's one that I would definitely feel comfortable gifting to somebody. I also like the labels that came with this particular collection. So I'm just going to pop that into frame here real quick. It, this um, leaf is actually like embossed on here. It's so pretty. I don't know if you guys, you can probably tell on the back, the texture there. It's so pretty. Absolutely love it. So for me, this is two thumbs up. I'm really enjoying it, you guys. I do see myself picking up a few backups. And if you are like me and you liked that spiced, Gosh, what was it called? S spiced pumpkin cider, was it? Oh man, I'm gonna have to go dig through and I'll put it, I'll try to remember to put the name of that particular scent in the description box down below. <laughs> I'm so terrible with remembering things these days, but just know that this one gets two thumbs up for me. Um, the reviews, by the way, on the Bath and Body Works um, website are also really good. A lot of people say that this is the perfect fall scent, amazing smell, love in so many ways. Um, there's like 113 reviews and 104 of those are five star reviews. So, and I, you know, I definitely find that people are very, um, very happy to point out poor performing <laughs> candles in the reviews here on the Bath and Body Works website. But yeah, most people are calling this the perfect fall candle and I would have to agree. Um, you know, there's not much in the way of pumpkin to this in any kind of way. Like this whole spiced pumpkin note, I don't, I don't get that. I get this. I could see where like the pumpkin pie spices maybe are mentioned, but I don't pick up like a canned or fresh pumpkin note in this at all. Really, it's mostly that cranberry and apple type scent um, with those fall spices. So it's really lovely. They do have this in the wallflower. I think I'd like to pick it up in the wallflower format as well. And then they also have the hand soap in this scent. So if you like it, you can kind of round out <laughs> your own fragrance with those other things as well. So. Let me know what you thought of the um, perfect autumn candle. Um, I'd love to see your guys' thoughts down below in the comments as well. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys tomorrow for my thoughts on Homeworks Vanilla Bean Macaron. So that will be coming your way tomorrow. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye-bye.